Hi, yeah, Pete. Really good session today. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you'll be able to practice now with this routine. It will start sort of feeling second nature, and you'll be doing it over and over again. Just going to run through a couple of things that we mentioned in the session. Firstly, a dress. We don't want to have the feet too wide apart. Very common a goal to start losing balance in the swing. And as you said yourself, you're sort of falling backwards onto that right foot. Your mind just get a bit more stable. You'll get your feet a bit wider. The problem is when your feet are wider, you can't move as efficiently. So if your lower half can't move as easily, what you'll tend to find now is your top half does a lot of the work and you end up losing more balance as a result. I'd be also suggested to try and create a sequence that starts off by putting the club down behind the golf ball first. So we're going to aim the club at our sort of intermediate target we had there. Aiming the club first, then gripping it, getting those two things correct. And from that position there now, once you're comfortable, set your feet apart. And you can see a slightly narrower stance here now to make it a little bit easier for your body to rotate. So this right hip can actually rotate around and back and not sway too much laterally. So if you look at this swing now, as the club goes back, that right hip, as we can see now, is rotating around your spine. You're a lot more vertical, a lot less swaying in the backswing. So therefore, from here, we can now move the body to target and get the club striking down the golf ball. Much more of a descending blow. So good striker impact here now. And then we can go right the way through up onto that left side. And in an ideal world, we get that right foot up on its toe and a full rotation in that hip there. If the shoulders, we can see, will always go through and rotate through a 90 degrees or more movement if that right foot stays flat and this hip sort of stays back it's going to put a lot of pressure on that lower back as you said we get some injuries and some pain there so ideally if we can rotate the lower half a little bit more when it's a bit narrower it's going to take a lot of pressure and stress off of the back so go through that sequence get yourself set up better club first then grip then set your feet and say a little bit narrow with the feet and then just focus on rotating that lower half as you move to the left on the way down rather than actually trying to lean back and falling on your back foot. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously, please give me a shout, and I'll see you soon.